Excited to bring you another Friday edition of Rising. I'm joined by Sir Michael Singleton, who is filling in for Amber. How are you, Sir Michael? Hey, Jess. I am doing well. It's so good to be back with you. How was your week? It was a good week. It was a busy week. You know, a lot going on. <laughs> well, I think a lot going on, Jess, is an understatement. Uh, former President Trump appeared in federal court in Washington, D.C. yesterday where he pled not guilty to defrauding the American people by attempting to overturn the 2020 election. Per the Associated Press, during the proceedings, Trump stood up to enter his not guilty plea, answered perfunctory questions from the judge, and thanked her at the conclusion of the arraignment. Here's Trump immediately after leaving court. This is a very sad day for America, and it was also very sad driving through Washington, D.C., and seeing the filth and the decay and all of the broken buildings and walls and the graffiti. This is not the place that I left. It's a very sad thing to see it. Uh, when you look at what's happening, this is a persecution of a political opponent. This was never supposed to happen in America. This is the persecution of the person that's leading by very, very substantial numbers in the Republican primary and leading Biden by a lot. So if you can't beat him, you persecute him or you prosecute him. We can't let this happen in America. Thank you very much. Trump's lawyers are attempting to get the trial moved out of Washington, D.C. and into West Virginia. Trump claims the district is, quote, 95 percent against him and too politically biased to provide a fair trial. Meanwhile, reporters tracked down President Biden for comment, who's on vacation in Delaware. He said he's not following the arraignment. So, Sir hmm. Michael, what do you make of uh, this from the Trump camp, this from the Biden camp? I think it's possible that the Biden team is closely following the arraignment and they're just not saying it. I think Trump outside of the courthouse with his, you know, toupee blowing in the wind, saying that, you know, D.C. is essentially a lawless wasteland is not exactly accurate. I was in D.C. last week. It's not decrepit. The buildings aren't covered in graffiti. The walls aren't falling down. And certainly any changes in D.C. when it comes to construction on buildings. I know the Federal Reserve Building is under construction, both, you know, I would say externally and hopefully internally. But what Trump's talking about there is just not accurate. Definitely didn't happen within the past few years. I mean, look, of course, the Biden administration is paying attention to this, including the president himself having worked for a president. And we would be naive to think otherwise. Now, regarding Trump's comments on the state of Washington, in D.C., he's right in regards to the crime. D.C. actually does indeed have a crime issue. Uh, that is a fact that the mayor has addressed and even the outgoing uh, police chief who's now headed to the FBI. Uh, D.C. does have a problem. But with that said, Jess, I'm wondering if uh, indictment fatigue will, will set in at some point. And that is to say that if America...